Welcome to Hip Chicks at DIY Nuggets at Noon. What we are going to do today is tackle time management and organizing because that is always an issue for everybody and I'm very lucky I have a guest. Yes. This is my first guest. This is Kelly Schaefer mm -hmm. of Task Complete yep. and Kelly is here to give us some tips on making better use of our time and our space so that we can have freedom in uh, everything we do. She's telling me that I need structure to give me freedom. Doesn't sound quite right, but I'm gonna <laughs> listen to her and uh, let her enlighten me on this so I can be more empowered yes. as a mom and business owner and DIYer to get my stuff together. Cause I run around like a chicken with its head cut off yes. because I can't find stuff, I'm running late, yep. I overestimate time. So we'll let her enlighten us. Well, thank you for having me okay. and Henrietta, the chick here. One of my problems as a do-it-yourselfer is managing my stuff and my trips to the store. Mm -hmm. um, I'm notorious for uh, I have this crazy passion idea, oh, I want to do this, and I'm going to run to the store right now and get parts, and then I get to the store, and I'm like, oh, wait, I think I do have another piece of plywood in the basement, but I didn't measure it, so I'm always running to the store mm -hmm. for stuff, for supplies, mm -hmm. and it drives my husband crazy because I'm wasting time. You I'm are. wasting time in not preparing, and then I don't have the time for the creativity which yes. is the part that brings me the passion and the joy. Right. So. So first it seems like you don't have everything organized. No. No, no. no. I'm not organized. I'm thinking maybe when I'm working upstairs, I should have like um, some small boxes mm -hmm. so that I can put all the plumbing stuff back into a plumbing pile because right. I feel like I've got it all scattered around the room. Boxes, big plastic bins, totes, okay. um, but I would not try to buy something first to house all the items right. until you know the items that you want to house. Okay. This way you know what size, thing, bin, basket, plastic container, box, whatever you want to use right. to sort your things in. And that's a great tip. So figure out what you want to put yeah. before you just run to Target and you buy exactly. all these buckets and exactly. they're like, oh my god! Yes, yeah. everybody makes the mistake and they run off to Target and Home Goods and they buy a whole bunch of pretty little baskets and then they come home and it doesn't and fit. It doesn't fit. Oh, and then the stuff that they one. were trying to organize is now in five different boxes instead of all together in one. All in one. They have all these caddies and and little storage compartments. Mm -hmm for little things. Because mm -hmm. I've got, you know, that travel bucket when I go to visit people that's got nuts and bolts and nails mm -hmm. and I have wood screws and I have drywall screws. Like, I find those tool caddy things are such a bummer because they don't, the lid never stays locked. Mm -hmm. So if I drop it, <gasps> this yes. has happened. Mess everywhere. everywhere. Every, and then everywhere. I sit there and I'm just like, <gasps> and I have to pick up and organize and put the wood screws with the wood screws. So, any other ideas on how I can organize all that piddly little stuff? Well, it depends on um, what you're carrying, if, if you're carrying it around, if it's staying in the house. Okay. You know, in the house, as simple as it is, mm -hmm. good old fashioned glass jars for Great screws. Great idea. And nuts and bolts. Baby food jars. But baby food jars for the smaller things, but again, Put them all aside and see how many you need first right, because right. it might fit more in like a, a tomato mayonnaise or, or mayonnaise jar right. or an old pickle jar okay. instead of a baby food jar. But okay. I, I know it seems so old fashioned, but, but it works. they work really well. Tackle boxes are a little bit better. Their spaces, oh, the spaces are a little bit bigger. Um, but it's really knowing what you're trying to organize. And okay. I mean, the container store. You can get lost in the container store for days, <laughs> days you could get lost in there. It's like its whole own little city of organization people. Um, but just knowing what you're trying to organize and trying to keep it all together. Try not to have a bunch of stuff all over the place. Like for example, I have a quote unquote sewing kit. 
Mind you, I do not sew. That's... All I sew are like limbs back on teddy bears. <laughs> you will not find me hemming a skirt or darning a sweater. Right. Okay. I but sew I... to pillows and window treatments because exactly. I don't like clothes. It's exactly. too hard. It's too hard. Yeah. But um, I have just a plain old plastic bin and in there is a pair of scissors, yeah. the needles, all the little thread pieces are all in there together. So if I do have to sew something, it's there. I don't have to take the box, get the thread, go find a needle, and then go find a pair of scissors somewhere else. Right, you keep it's it all, all together. Exactly. And bathrooms, nobody ever has enough storage. You know, it's like, where do you put all the shampoo and, you know, the toilet paper? And, you know, if you don't have a garage or a pantry place to keep some of that bulk paper product, mm -hmm. um, what are some tips on organizing the bathroom space? The bathroom space. So, you can, it, it really depends on each person's home and how much space they have in their home. Uh -huh. Sometimes you can just put a nice decorative cabinet in the hallway outside. Right and it looks pretty on the outside, and here you're stashing your toilet tissue in there. Right. Um, but always, for your guests' sake, have backup in the yes, actual bathroom. Yes, that drives me crazy. Yes. When when you're in someone's restroom, and yes. there's not and a run stairwell. Out and you're sitting there, and you're like, oh, you go. where do you go first? You go under the sink first. Right, right. right. And you're opening it up, and you're like, man, they don't have extra toilet paper in here? No, and then you feel like like a voyeur, like you're like peeping into their <laughs> exactly. private world, like, Oh, oh God, they buy that. You know, it's like, I don't really want to exactly. know what's and in if, your cabinet. And if you don't have an undermount, yeah, if you have a pedestal yeah, sink. Yeah, pedestal sink, exactly. You know the proper term yeah. there. Then get one of those cute little side, you know? Yeah. Well, otherwise, then you're like Elaine from Seinfeld. Can you spare a square? You know, and you're hoping somebody's in the hallway in the and it's hallway. a party. And, you know, yeah. so don't do that to your guests. Yeah, Make no, sure you've got TV back in the TV. Always need backup TV. You know? So as part of this bathroom renovation, you know, I've actually cut my linen closet in half. And yeah, I'm losing storage, but I'm opening up the whole space so that, you know, we can mm -hmm. enjoy the view a little better. Um, so I had all this stuff in the closet. So what I did was I took an old linen sheet um, container. I love oh these things. Oh my God, this is awesome. Yes. I, I just had this like last minute second. Yep. I wasn't planned. I was mm -hmm. going to throw it out and I went, wait a minute, what can I put in there? So I even used the card that was, was in, in there. there. Just flip it around yeah. right on the back. Yeah. Whatever sheets yep. I bought. But now I've got, you know, all those, lo you know, people give you lotions. You end up with lotions and lotions. Mm -hmm. So I've got Bath and Body Works. And then like up top, I've got, you know, hand sanitizers. So now the kids know if they need an extra Purell for their bag, for their lunchbox, they're up in the closet and everything's mm -hmm. marked. And then I did it with the travel stuff. Mm -hmm. So I don't have little tubes of toothpaste everywhere. But I think it's just these little things that, that go a long way at saving space and time yeah. and making life a little bit easier. Yeah, and just doing it little bits at a time. You know, you can't expect to organize your entire life in a weekend. It doesn't work that way. But even just putting aside 15 minutes every day and choosing one thing to organize, like I'm going to organize the kitchen junk drawer today and then maintain it. And then the next day, I'm going to organize the pantry mm -hmm. and maintain it. And then the next day, I'm going to organize the bathroom closet mm -hmm. and just maintain it. Yeah. Just 15 minutes a day. Yeah. Yeah. We started a thing that before we go up to bed at night, everybody has to clean up yes, their clutter yes. from the kitchen. Yep. Because the kitchen family room is where everybody's stuff hangs. Yep. So. And it's, it's normal. Right. Oh, it's, it's normal. perfectly normal. Yeah. But the 10 minutes before everybody heads yep. upstairs, put your stuff away. Yep. You know, everybody, I try to make sure everybody has a space to put things. Mm -hmm. But let's clean up. And if you don't have your stuff cleaned up, mm -hmm. you got to pay a quarter to the charity bucket. Nice. I like so that. So you lose money. I like that. But it doesn't go to us. It goes to charity. So mm -hmm. they don't feel guilty when mm -hmm. they have to put the money right. because they know it's going to somewhere good. But it makes them think differently about, you know, having to pick up and contribute and yeah. make sure it's gone. You know, it's fun to do too when you're trying to tidy up real mm -hmm. quick. Uh, taking an empty laundry basket. Yeah. You start in room A, whatever room that's going to be, you start there, whatever's out of place in that room that mm -hmm. doesn't belong in that room, you pick up and put in the laundry basket. You take the laundry basket into the next room, 
Anything that's in the laundry basket that belongs in that room, you take out and put in that, that room. That is a great idea. And then whatever's in that room that doesn't belong you, goes into the laundry basket. So it's basket. just in and, and out. And you just go, yeah, shoop, 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 from one that room That is to such, the next room, that's a to really the next great room, idea. To the next room. And usually the dining room doesn't get much. Well, dining get, room, literally. Dining room doesn't yeah. get much action. Nor, but, the, nor does the formal living room. That usually doesn't get much action no. either. But the family room, the kitchen, the kitchen counters, the kitchen table, the steps going upstairs. Oh my gosh, yes. They all, always have They stuff always, upstairs. you know, it's almost like they're Velcro and stuff just sticks, sticks. to them. Oh my yeah, god, yeah. it's crazy. And, and that's YouTube. my husband's pet peeve is at night. Yeah. Everything has to be off the stairs yes. at night because it's a fire hazard. It is a fire hazard. In the middle of the night, God forbid, you need to get down no, and out. Especially if you're trying to sneak out for a cookie at 2 o'clock and you <laughs> slip on somebody's sneakers yeah. down the stairs. Well, my problem is we have a motion detector there, so I would get oh. nabbed if I don't forget to turn it off. Um, and then I can't turn it off because they'll be like, ooh, what are you up for, Mommy? Um, but that basket works really that's great. That's a great idea. Yep, and then you work your way and then you head upstairs and then you do the same thing upstairs because a lot of times it's the kids clutter and even your own stuff the book you were reading last night you right. know your business yeah, book, your computer, your, computer and all that. your calendar and all these things you're working on right. and poof, poof, in the basket follow around and it just makes it faster you're not so many runs back and forth up and down the steps because it's all in one basket that's a great idea What about medicine? Like how often, you know, people just collect medicine and the over-the-counter and the prescription. How often should we be going through that stuff? Oh, and the cool thing is we're both, you know, retired nurses. Yes. So um, we look at everything in, in systems. Different eyes. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. and our sarcastic you know, humor oh, yeah. about things. Um, but yeah, what, how do we tackle the medicines? How do we encourage other people to get on top of their medicines? You can use this on top of your medicines, on top of your closets, on top of the kitchen pantry. Mm -hmm. Typically, every seasonal change, I devote like okay. a weekend to okay. declutter the entire house. Okay. It just gets put on the calendar. So like four <laughs> times a year? Four times okay. a year. I rip through all the cabinets, all the closets, all the kids' closets, okay. and it's, it helps maintain them. Because when when you run out of space, you just can't maintain it, um, and then you forget what you have, and then you end up going to the store buying those five Extra things yeah. that you didn't realize you already had five of them in the closet because you can't find them because there's so much stuff in the closet. Yeah. Yeah. So just put put it on your schedule. You know, okay. if, if you're not diligent in remembering, mm -hmm. and for medications, at least once a year because they they do expire. I love the idea of the big box in the garage because mm -hmm. I could tell you I probably have eight different piles in my garage of stuff that is meant to go to the thrift store mm -hmm. for recycling. Yep. And keep that box in the same spot all the time. Yeah. This way you always know that's the spot. Yeah. It's just it's yeah. It's just simple. Um, by having it in the same spot all the time, even the eight-year-old you could say. That's insane. Yeah. Oh, oh, that you're done with that game. Okay, I'll put tape on the box yep, so that the up. pieces don't fall out, right. go put it in the donation box in the garage and they know exactly where it has to go. These are really great tips um, because they're just practical tips. It's practical they're tips. They're very practical and I'm all about practicality. Yeah and, and yeah. I think we need sometimes though to step back mm -hmm. and think about how can we streamline our lives that we're not so stressed, mm -hmm. that we're not yelling at our kids because we can't find things. Yep. And just to simplify it, so we have that extra 10 minutes at the end of the day to sit down with a book. Yeah. Oh. You know, oh. just to sit down and, and have those few minutes of mom time, me time, mm -hmm. so that we can kind of recoup and rejuvenate for the next day. Because Lord knows we are wearing a lot of hats, juggling a lot of balls, yeah. chasing after chickens, you yeah. know. And, and as a fellow entrepreneur yourself uh -huh. and your empire. <laughs> My chicken empire. <laughs> chicken empire. Um, I can tell you being in business for three years for myself, mm -hmm. um, it, it does. It takes a wear yeah. and tear yeah. on you. And taking care of yourself, I actually put that as one of my goals this year, one of my personal yeah. goals. Take more care of you. Take more care of me. And I exercise regularly. I try to eat healthy. I, right. I do the right. typical things that a lot of people actually don't even 
take that. Right, right. Well, um, those are baby steps. Yes. You know. So this year, I have committed to taking one day off a month. Uh -huh. That's just about me. Oh, good and for I've you. already scheduled in the first quarter. It's a Friday when the kids uh -huh. are at school. Yeah. Yes. So Absolutely. they're not be bopping around. Yeah. And I have scheduled an in-home massage. <gasps> Ooh. Where it's nice. going to be an in-home massage, and I stay in my fluffy robe and enjoy tea and a good book. And you just take care. Just of be me yeah. for a day. Yeah. Because as women, we don't do that. Mm -hmm. We're so caught up being. Superheroes, and wife, and, and, superheroes. and Wonder Woman. Got to put the cape on. Yeah, <laughs> really. And we need to just stop, sit back, and and care about us. I love that um, experience when you're on the plane and they talk to you about put on your own oxygen mask exactly. first before you help those exactly. around you. Yeah. And I think as women, we forget that. We do. We forget that if we're not fulfilling ourselves, and it doesn't mean being selfish. No, it's about no. taking care of us exactly. so that we can be a better wife, mom, worker, you know, all those other roles. Yeah, because when your mind is clear and you're more relaxed, you can give more love to those around you. Yes, yeah, you're more focused, exactly. more centered, all that exactly. stuff. So, yeah. Thank you so very much. This, this is, is awesome. fun. Thank you. <laughs> Tune in next week for another round of DIY Nuggets at Noon. and. During this following week, please check out my website. I also have a, uh, a blog post which has some contributions from four other um, local entrepreneurs that focus on organization and time management as well. And we've got some tips on paper management, photography, photo management. So check out that blog with all those tips and I'll have links to all their websites as well. And you can check out Kelly for her concierge service and organization. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Yay. Bye. Bye.